Feeling good? Yeah. Hello, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. How are you watching? Beamus. I'm on a rush right now because I'm going to be out of town. Holidays is coming up. we be very busy with the family, busy with the office. I'm trying to get you guys more videos, and I should have released a royal toy video. We're going to do another royal toy video today. For this one, I promised you, and a little new little set. Well, maybe not new, but something different from an original brand. So this will be a bonus. So what is up? Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. Oh, you're watching Beamus. Did I say that already? Where we review alternative Lego bricks, alternative compatible Lego bricks. If you don't like it, you can suck my bricks. Right, Chris? Yes. Yeah, what's up? How are you? Good. Yeah. Chris is also coming with me on show. We're gonna, I'm gonna perform with my dad in China and Chris is gonna be standing in front of the stage shooting videos and shooting photos. Go follow me on my Instagram. Go on my personal page too, Scotty Hoy. Cause I don't post much on there, but I should start posting more show stuff on there. You know, personal life stuff. Anyway, ho, ho. So continuing on from the last video, we're gonna look at Royal Toys, a city storyline. This is the Star Ferry, a boat finally from Hong Kong. RT69, 1,203 pieces. Here is the box. Chris, do you like this box? Yes. Star Ferry, we have seen a Star Ferry set, or I have at least, but it wasn't quite this big, or sometimes it was like smaller size bricks, or it was standard size, but like a micro scale size. This is the first time I'm seeing a Star Ferry that can actually kind of fit a minifigure inside. It's not quite to scale, the box presentation is nice as always. We can send you the original box, but it costs money, man. So, you know, this thing can be crunched down to about half the size of this box. And you're gonna save a lot. Is the box worth it? Yeah, that's why I have this video for you guys. So you guys can see the box here. You can just freeze frame this and cut out your own box using this image. But there you go, there's the front there. Nice, and yes, you do have a brick light that comes with this. It has batteries inside. I may have to remove the batteries depending on how I ship it. Sometimes if you buy it from elsewhere, they may not even include the light for you. Just be like, no, you're on your own. We don't want lights, batteries, man. Sending batteries is still a pain in the ass. Everything's out of control, man. Most important thing is you get light here. Unfortunately, my brick light is broken, Chris. My one doesn't work on the inside, it's broke. It's, it's kind of loose. It's inside the set, but I just wrapped it up anyway. Yours should be okay. You know, I'll do a quality control check and make sure they're all right. Uh, if I can, if, I, if you allow me to open up your packages. But for the most part, I think every single Royal Toys, most of the brick lights are totally fine, or all, all, all of them, this is the only one. But anyway, there's the front, enough of that. Here's the back, some information there, a little story there, you can Google Translate that, and how the set comes apart. This ain't a Titanic, man, this is very small. And the Star Ferry in Hong Kong is gonna close down soon, right? They're still doing that? Are they still there? Yeah. Still there, but I mean, did they mention that they were going to shut it down? Uh, now, because they raised the price, so I think they're, they're going to keep it. Going. So we still have the. They cut some knives. Oh, they cut some some routes, I guess. But there you go. There's the measurement for you. If you've been to Hong Kong or you traveled here, this is a famous star ferry that takes you from new territories into Hong Kong territory, Hong Kong side, and it's just like a ten minute trip. Yeah, ten minutes. Super fun to go on. Mm. My kids love to go on it. But how does this set represent that? Oh, before I jump into it, let me show you the manual. The manual is actually pretty big, man. I like the feeling they changed the material a little bit. It feels nicer. And if I show you the back here, we have most of these available. The, the bus, this one is is uh, brand new as well. That's a vintage bus, Chris. Zoom in on that. Oh. Look at that. Vintage old school style minibus, man. Oh, minibus. Yeah. Oh, the red one? Yeah. Mm. And they're starting, they, this one is a little bit older. It's like a fireman's helmet, but I don't know how popular that is internationally. But this is all new also? Well, it's kind of new, this one. This one is definitely new yeah, and the Star Ferry. Yeah, yeah. The other ones are all here and available. I have oh, reviewed yeah, some. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some information inside. Oh, and by the way, freaking sticker sheets. Shit. Yes, lots of stickers. However, if you look at the set like here, you don't really see that many stickers on the outside. It's all on the inside. So it kind of is hidden. You may not have to use the stickers at all, actually. I wouldn't use them, but I have to use it for this video. Reminder, these are using Pandos Bricks. And if you want to see the details there, 
It's pretty straightforward, easy to follow. I built this set really fast. It just came in the office yesterday and I told Chris, I'm pretty sure I can build this in one sitting and I did. And it was enjoyable. That means I didn't have like that many issues. There was one deformed piece that was easy to kind of hide and I can always get parts replaced for, from this brand. And the other thing too is that the second floor, it can detach. The second floor might be a little bit tricky to put on top, but they designed it that way so that it can come off easier. But still, it's a little bit like you're, you think you're gonna break this thing apart. Surprisingly, and Chris was asking me about this, sturdy, it's sturdy, man. Like for something like this, it can kind of fall apart on you if you push and use force. But for the most part, I'm like, brought it here to the office, it was inside the bag. And there's like some loose pieces that you're gonna see later that just kind of fell down right now. But once you see that, you'll understand why. And let's just look at the details of this boat. But before we do that, you do get one figure. We'll take a look at him first. The captain. Printing is pretty okay. Yo, his hat's kind of crazy, man. The hat comes off in two pieces. You have to build the hat. I was like, oh, wow. But it looks really good. So you get one boat, captain. That's it. Only one character, one figure. And his sleeves, short sleeves. It's two pieces on the arms. So that's how they make themselves a little bit different from your standard Lego one. So these are a little bit different. Now let's look at his boat. The size is really good. It could have been a little bit bigger. Star Ferry is supposed to fit how many people? Like 200, something like that. But you can only fit like maybe eight or so, and or maybe each floor. But the seats are not quite to minifigure scale. So it's kind of like scaled down, but it's still kind of a nice size set. I kind of like this, the vibe of this. I like the color tone. They got it down pretty well. And for the shape, it's not totally straight. It is curved on some parts, but they designed it in a way where it's like their tram and a couple other sets. But it just felt like really comfortable putting this together. There's only a couple of loose pieces that's on the inside. You can see these little rubber tires. They're tires, right? Or little, I don't know if those are the things to save the people, the boys. Those can fall off really easy. That's it. There's two on that side and there's two on this side as well. And they designed the front here or the both sides. Everything's all mirrored. So it kind of comes out like that. It's not supposed to do that. Those are prints there, by the way. So that's nice. You get those prints. So I close it up. And I'm not even sure which side to start on. Okay, we'll start on the lower level right there on the side. I'll just leave it like that. Chris will get you some beautiful shots. It says Northern Star on the sides. And the front and the back has like the license plate type thingy. It says Hong Kong on it. Those are all prints, as I mentioned. The doors do come down. They are a little bit snug. And to get them down, you gotta kind of put your finger on the inside and push it out, kind of like that. And it's inverted the door itself. So like the brick pieces here, they go like that. You can see how it's built. I like how they added a little splash of color there, right? So it looks like the real, it does look like that color when you're getting off the boat. Like I said, it all mirrors each other, right? Outside there, as I mentioned, nothing's gonna really fall apart on you. They, these are the tires for sure, so it doesn't hit against the pier. And you can actually see some pipes on the inside. The passenger seats, if you wanna get a closer look at that, we'll just take this thing right apart. So this is the nitpicking part. I didn't quite like how this sat on top, if, but I think they designed it in a way where it's supposed to be able to come off pretty easy so that you don't tear the thing apart. So if I put it up here, see it comes off fine like that. But if I go like this, and I'll show you like so. You can see the mounting points here, here. There's some gaps here. I'm not quite sure why they lined it up. I think they designed it that way for the lights. So the lights go on the second floor. They're wired across the top and then they go down and wired along the bottom. So I think that's where the wire kind of rests inside. But there's a nice little view for you. You got four benches, which, is, which were easy to put together. The original one, when you go on the Star Ferry, the real one, you can actually rotate the chairs, right? You can like, or you can move the back to the front. So the boat goes one way, you can move the whole bench to the other side. I would have actually liked to have seen that feature done on these benches, but it's fine. Like, I'm still pretty happy with the way this looks. There is one piece here that is deformed and bent. Yeah, you can see that for sure. That part almost broke off. And it was like this in the box, man. So is it easy to replace? Yes, we replaced that for you. If I put it this way, you can't really tell. 
and it's not part of the structure, so we're all right. And as I mentioned, the front mirrors the back. They're both exactly the same. It has control panels on the inside and doors. Those are stickers on the door, stickers on the control panel piece, so the steering wheel piece, which was interesting. I've never seen that done before. Stickers on the pipes, and they curve, so those are gonna peel off just like the other set, I'm sure. In the middle, you got like a little room here, but you can't get inside of that. But there you go, that's the bottom piece there. So interesting how they had this all designed out like that to help it with the curve. I thought that was actually pretty cool. What do you guys think? Nice size, is all right? So we'll go to the second floor now, but definitely I like the color tone for this though. It matches the, like the real thing. This one, the second floor, we can actually take off the rooftop piece and it should come off pretty easy. It's not like some other sets we had trouble doing that before. And if I flip it up this way, Look at that, a lot more seating inside, but the benches are a lot smaller. So you can't quite fit a figure. You know, we can try, let me see if I can put the captain in one of the chairs, seats here. Yeah, so it's not like, you You can put one, but you're gonna fall over. I'll tell you what, I'll let Chris put the guy inside and show you what it looks like on the seat. You can put one figure per seat, but you should, usually you can fit like a family of four. What I like about the second floor is it's all tiled, not like the bottom floor. You see all the white, the stars and the patterns on the chair. Those are all stickers, man. Damn. How do you come up to the second floor? They do have a second level door here, and this is how you get on when you enter the real thing. You just walk upstairs and go on the upstairs floor. Yeah, when you go on the real star ferry, and you go from the first floor to second floor, there's no- Simple. Usually I go to second Oh, usually you go, no, but my question is, can you walk on the inside up or you have to dock on the outside and can only stay on the outside? You can't go down the outside. The inside, there's no staircase, right? There's no staircase, I can't remember too. I think you have to go from outside. Outside, right? But there you go. And those are all stickers on the door parts here. But the ones on the inside on the floor are prints. So there are a couple of prints. But all the patterns of the chairs, the white, those are all stickers, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of stickers. And then even like here on the hallway part, which is kind of hard to see, like the, the divider here and here, those are all stickers. Now here's my light brick. You can see it's kind of messy because I just rolled it up. So the wire for the light brick will travel here, woo, like that. And then it'll go down through this little hole right there. And then you have all these mounting parts here that will hold the lights for you. All right, so that's what those pieces are for. So I just don't have mine here. The light brick is not necessary. However, if I take it out and show you guys here, they put a sticker on the back piece of the brick and here, I'm not, I'm not a fan of doing that. If you don't want the brick light, just get a one, just get a two by four brick and replace this brick piece, then you don't need the lights at all. Let's see if I can turn it on, if it'll work or not. So now it's on. It's just, the wiring is a little bit loose. It doesn't even want to turn on anymore now. It was on the other night. I was like, oh, it's like flickering. I have more of these in the office. Do I really care about it? Not really. So what I'm gonna do, just put it back and leave it. Put it right here. Easy to take in and out and Chris will figure, maybe I'll cut the wire or I'll find another brick for Chris to shoot on so you can replace that. If we look at the detail inside, there's not much more to it. There's like illusions of a door on both ends, but they don't open up. And just a lot more stickers. Chris will get you all the stickers and see what a terrible job I did putting on some of those stickers. But some of the window pieces are prints. The benches get a little bit repetitive, but easy to put together. And in the very middle is the little like station area. Oh, this deck is 299 passengers. Do you think we can fit 300 figures in here? Yeah, I don't think so, man. <laughs> but it's a nice detail in the middle, in the centerpiece right there. 300? Well, that's what it says. This deck, 299 passengers. I don't know if that's a real thing or not. Door opens and closes just fine. And I actually really enjoyed building the window part, surprisingly. I was like, I thought it was gonna be like messy, falling apart. Dude, that was so much fun. I was like, dude, this is like, so secure, because I'm surprised like how well this is holding up. When you see this and it tells you, oh, you just got to put this on there. You're like, what? It can fit like that? I don't know, man. 
how do you line it up? You just line up with the poles. They go inside the circle studs here and just line up the door part here on top, directly on top of each other. And it'll, it should just fit fine like that. You may have to like move some of these like that. I'm moving some of the bricks around, moving some of the poles around here, pushing down there. Just make sure they kind of line up, adjust the doors. So it does take a little bit of, push the centerpiece down, maybe that might hold. It's not too crazy, but you can see like, oh, I don't know if this is like right or not, but I think that's right so far. We're okay, looks okay to me. And since it's mirrored, I guess it really doesn't matter which direction it goes in. I probably got some stuff wrong. And then finally we come to this rooftop piece. Looks like a little mini boat like that. This was totally fine to put together. In fact, this took me about a minute to put this piece on until I got to these parts. What are these parts of the, the real Star Ferry? Life boats or just like decoration? It's gotta be something. I'm too lazy to look it up. You guys can tell me in the comments. Each one of these has a little pipe and you gotta put the little circle pieces inside. It took me so long to put this. I was like dying, man. By the time I did the fourth one, my fingers were cramping and hurting. But once I got it all done, it's like secure again. Very nice. And those are prints, at least on the chimney part. Pretty basic stuff. And again, it fits really nicely together. You just line it up here at the end. Oh, the door came off. Oh, that's the one thing I should mention. Okay, the doors are might not be perfect, but you saw how fast I was? You can see here, they're just on studs here, but because there's no pressure or like nothing to really hold underneath, the doors might come off a little bit easy, but it's easy to put back on. You just gotta line it up, push down, there, got it. See? But if you're like messing with this thing, opening and closing it, it might get a little messy. But you see me playing man handling this so far so good chris what do you think after looking at this pretty good man it's pretty good man pretty good. Pretty good. if you want to get this in time for christmas you better order it fast i mean like quick i gotta get this video up really fast we're gonna drop this one no chris says no okay we're not gonna drop this one today so there you go because we gotta get these videos out faster for you guys captain is gonna go here you know what let me just get a couple shots chris is gonna put some bts guys on here We'll sit the guys in. We'll see if the captain can fit in the control panel. He can help me put the captain inside later on in the control panel, see if he fits okay in there. He should be fine. And just get some passengers to see what it looks like with some minifigures on this, all right? Scaling is just a little bit smaller to me. Mm -hmm. I wish it was just like maybe double the size would have been pretty nice. Maybe they'll do like a, a bigger version. But for now, this is pretty stable. I'm pretty happy with it. Great, right? Now it's time to look at the bonus. Set. You ready to see this one? This is new or old? I have no idea. I just sent it to me and she's like, it's in the office for you to review. Okay, let's just review that one. What we're looking at is from a brand I've never heard of before called Z Dell Blocks. This is the Wonder Luggage. DL50351. 519 pieces. The specific one that I have here in my hand is the Journey. Is it called the Journey? Yes. Journey to Beijing. They have four more of these. Let me show you the box first. And hey, a nice little tiny box. Nice presentation. These guys are pretty smart, why? Because they have one box, one design, and they put all the packaging on the sleeve part. So I guess you don't have to like print or reprint like several different boxes. You can just print one box and just put different sleeves on and you're done. Here's the front, oh, this is the back, sorry. This is the front here. Give you an idea. They call the series the Wonder Luggage. I like the presentation. I like the colors. The name, the Dell, is better than Mork. It's better than Forang. It's better than Fun Ho. <laughs> Fun Ho. Fun Ho. And by the way, Fun Ho has a lot of crazy sets. Fun Why Ho. am I not reviewing them? Well, first of all, I try to do sets that I sell as well. And Fun Ho, we can actually sell Fun Ho, but the price is higher than buying it from Fun Ho. So it makes sense just to buy it directly from them. But go support them, I think they're amazing. And if you want me to review some fun whole sets, I could, I just need time to get them in here and review them for you. But the later sets have been pretty good, but the lighting kit, forget the lighting kits, man. They all just break all the time. But there you go, here's the back. And just to show you the other ones, which are pretty good. There's the other four that are available. So I think these are slightly older 
The good news is standard brick size. These are not micro bricks. These are not mini bricks. These are regular Lego bricks. Oh, I put this on too tight, man, when I put it back. Oh, it can't come off now, but I took a sleeve off earlier and I was like, hey, it works out pretty good. Empty inside the box here. You can completely compress this down. It's just like the batch. I'm sorry, nothing inside. Let's look at the manual. If you're gonna ask me what bricks they're using, they're not the best. I am have a feeling they're kind of like thing about bricks. They might be the same ones Jostar uses or Juhang or real brick. I'm doing too many bricks, man. I'm too lazy to like really look at them closely, but they're not perfect. The colors are slightly off. I had two, not two missing pieces. They gave me two wrong pieces. So you'll see that later. And the book is really big though, man. There you go. It's very easy to follow. And it's a luggage, but look at that. Oh, sticker sheet. You can see the stickers all over the set right there. There we go. You can punch in on that, Chris. Yeah, right there. Okay. You don't have to use the stickers except for one, which is like a rooftop for one of the buildings inside. Because the set opens up the little mini tiny building, which I like. We got one figure. He's inside there right now. Let me just show you the exterior here. I like how the word says trip. I'm sure you can see it on camera, like some of the coloring of the white might be a little bit different from other parts of the coloring. There's more stickers there. This is like a spare sticker. They don't show where that goes on on the set at all. And what I like it that it's brick built and it moves pretty okay. Actually, like the swivel wheels underneath, like, oh, this is just like a luggage. What's the point of this, Chris? You gonna travel? Would you like to buy one of these? And like, it's kind of cute. The idea is like a different idea. It's not for me, but uh, no issues with the build. It's kind of crazy at first, like a little bit flimsy or a little bit loose. They're like, is this gonna work? But you can see here, I'm carrying it just fine. Now it is being held by these Technic pieces here, so it might slide off. It's pretty tight though, yeah, see like that. But if I just go like that, it's just enough weight that it's all right. And there's a little luggage tag here that they just throw in the box, man. I just barely even noticed that this was inside the box. I would have thrown the box away uh, thinking this was trash. But lucky I saw this sticking out. But this part you don't have to have on there. Now when you open this thing up, you got to be a little bit gentle because it doesn't have much support when you're pushing down on bricks. So if you push down here, you might break it apart. The easiest way to open this up, just to put your fingernails like that, and it'll just pop right open. So if I go like this, and it'll still stand, just don't open it too much. Mini figures inside, he's sitting down right there. So if I open it up there like that, look at that. You got a little mini city. If I open it too much, it's gonna fall back. So you gotta twist it there. Let's get the guy out. There you go. I'm gonna stand him here like that. So from this view, this is Beijing. The other ones must be like Paris. I'm just gonna guess. Paris, what other places could there be? You know, I'll put the link in the description for the other ones. This should be all available by now on BrickMapScotty.com. But anyway, this one is Beijing. And Chris, I opened it up. What do you think, first impression? Pretty, pretty, pretty good. It's cute. Yeah, it's cute. It looks, I was gonna say, it looks a little bit plain, but it actually fit a lot of shit inside here. And I think it's because you see the back, like the bricks here. Oh, it doesn't yeah. look as nice, but you can tell it's Lego. Or you can tell that it's like bricks, right? It, oh. Would it be easy, nicer if it had it like smooth, like like smooth like that? Or is it okay like this? Is it a round notebook? No. No, it's regular size. Regular size? Yeah, it's regular size, but they fit a lot inside. So if we look on this side here, this is the first side that you build. You got a field here, like flowers and trees, a bridge and a bus. That's a sticker on the bus that says speed. Probably trying to copy the movie. Oh, okay, so the wrong pieces are actually on the cloud. I'm just gonna take those off now. So we don't have to show those pieces. And the wrong pieces were back here. You see down here? There's like two areas for the slope. It's supposed to be a slope pieces. So they gave me two wrong pieces. Damn it, Chris, wrong ones. For a first timer, shame on them. I'm just kidding. I can probably get those replaced too. Okay, so after taking those pieces off, you got the cloud there and the sun. I like that look. It's pretty cool that they were able to fit a bus going on a bridge. How nice. Figure can't fit on the bus, but the good news is you do get one figure. And I'm trying to look at the figure going. I don't, I can't pinpoint exactly where it's from. It looks like a Z Gal figure, but the body 
the head is so different from the standard figure. They just made it different enough that uh, I don't know if I, they can get away with the, the with. The, I just, I don't know if I'm happy with the figure looking like this, but it's the shoulder part. It looks really weird. But just like a kid all happy, like he, maybe a little bit too happy. He looks kind of psychotic. There's no printing on the back. And he has the studs there. He can fit on the regular Lego sets. Unfortunately for this set, I kind of wish, because you saw me sitting him down inside, he can stand up in this area, but that's it. I kind of wish I had one more stud that he can just like hang in there, or maybe you can put an inverted one here and he can like kind of mount, you can probably mount him to the clouds or something that he can fit inside this one. You want to close it up. On this side, which is really cool by the way, is the city of Beijing. I was putting this together going, oh shit, I've been there before. I recognize this building and there's a tower here. The top part of the tower is a little bit loose, the joystick piece. But they got a whole, they got four buildings put in there, and you totally recognizable, right? Chris, you recognize the temple? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't recognize this building. I definitely recognize this one. This is that crazy L shape. It's like a sideways L shape. I've been there before. I was like, oh, I recognize that one. There's some some clouds there, and then along the top is the big the main temple right there, with a sticker going on the rooftop. So yeah, it's like, yo, dude, they actually fit a full on city inside this little tiny set. Good, bad. Chris is like, oh, because because the, the background is wrong. It's the background, right? That throws it off. Yeah, maybe because when you mention the background, yes, maybe no tile. That's why it looks all holy, so like holes. Got, it's like because yeah. you're looking at the back underneath the tiles, right? Mm. But at least you can mount stuff in there. You do have to be careful with the hinges. These parts can kind of pop off, but it opens and closes just fine. It's fun to like roll this around, and be like, yeah. <laughs> Whee! But yeah, if you're trying to just use your two hands to open it like that, oh, I guess you can do it. It's kind of tight, but if you push too hard down, you're gonna be pushing the walls in. And the clutch is really tight, so that's kind of a good thing. But once again, you can't really like place your figure in here unless you stand there like that. Or maybe we can put him on the, the cloud piece like that, but then it'll probably like not close. I guess gonna get knocked off anyway. Take the cloud off with him. Put the, oh, you see, I pushed it back, so I'm popping pieces out. So you don't want to be doing that. See, like that? Yeah. There we go. You pop off the back piece. That's how you put it on. But you saw me doing playing with this earlier. I'm gonna test it around for you and be like, mm, drop it here. Be rough with it. Okay. Open it back up here. Did anything fall apart? Nothing? We're okay? Are you guys happy now with that? Cool. All right, so we'll throw this guy back inside here. We're not gonna drop this set either. It's time for Chris to help me get some shots of this. And let me put him in and close this up. Let's put all these out back out together. Oh, do we should I measure? Yeah, okay, measure. the boat. The boat. Let's measure up the ferry real quick. I'll put it here. It is over 32. Oh no. like that it's around 45 studs by length it is over 32 by 32 damn chris if i go to the width here it's pretty skinny it's about 11 studs by width will it fit for your brick dock boat city hey i like the look of it man this is pretty impressive actually I i'm impressed we have plenty here in stock now i'll break out your one by four bricks let's stack it up here and I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see. It touches that antennae, antenna piece, so it just goes underneath that. And that is around 18 bricks in height. There you go. And not too shabby. So there you guys go. Available in my store forever, I hope. These ones, I don't know. For sure, Royal Toys is okay. Awesome, pretty happy with this one. How durable and stable it was. I should do their trains next. All their trains are sitting right there. Chris, we gotta work on the trains next. This one, just a cute little fun set that is totally okay. Like I, I approve this one, it's a lot of fun. So if you're gonna go travel, there you go. It's a travel pack right here. Okay guys, it's time for me to go. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the love. Hope you guys have a nice holiday and I'll be back whenever I can. Until next time, you guys. Break me out!
So what, what does the Chinese name translate to here? No translation? Okay, it's just detail blocks. Oh, How weird. Goodness. Just the sound, right? <laughs> Chris is making fun of the Chinese name because the English is literally translating the sound of the Chinese name of this one. 